Hi, my name is Mary Colenna and this is Peanut and welcome to your yoga class for beginners. If you are very brand new to yoga, I do recommend to consult your physician first just for your own safety and well-being, please. Otherwise, we're just tapping in to some foundational yoga postures today. So let's get grounded and let's get started. Let's find Sukhasana first, easy seat. So come down to your mat, cross your legs, and you may want to use maybe a pillow or a blanket or a thick sweater to find support for your booty. So think of your pelvis as a bowl. So you don't want to have water spilling back where you hunch back or forward. So we want to find a neutral position in our pelvis. Once you got this, it helps us with our alignment in our spine. We want to bring the crown of our head over our heart, over our tailbone. And when you're ready, take a deep, full breath in, lift up your shoulders toward your ears, and exhale, send them away from your ears, down your spine. One more time, deep inhale, lift up. And big exhale, release. One more time, deep inhale, lift up. And exhale, send them away from your ears. Awesome. So I invite you to um, close your eyes or if you want to just find a soft gaze down your nose at a spot, whatever feels good for you. I just want you to tap in to your body and let your hands come down toward the floor. Just feeling the foundation below your body taking care of you. Now let's take a deep full inhale into your belly. So imagine your belly is a balloon. You take a deep inhale, like let your belly just come out as far as it can go. Fill it up with air and hold it for a few seconds. And softly exhale. So this two more times, deep breath in, fill up your belly as far and as much as you can. Hold it for a second or so and let it go. Let's do this one more time. Deep breath in. Hold. And when you're ready, you can let your breath come out again. Slowly open your eyes. When we deeply breathe down, it anchors us down more, taps into our lower chakras. <laughs> Hi, Tofu. And when we're connecting ourselves physically, mentally, and emotionally with the flow below us, it gives us a sense of safety and security. Awesome. Let's just get out of our Sukhasana and come right away into a tabletop. So if you used a blanket or a pillow, just move it aside. And probably <laughs> both puppies need to come out. So bring your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hip bones. So let's talk about alignment for just a brief moment. So pull your navel in and reach your heart forward but also at the same time, think of a string pulling your tailbone back. So really pull your navel in, finding a straight line in your spine. Gaze down. Now let's get our cow pose into our body. So tilt your pelvis down and forward. Take a deep inhale. Let your belly drop. Reach your heart forward, gaze out. And when you exhale, let your spine round, carve your tailbone under, 
and tuck your chin in. So press your palms into the floor, active hold in your arms. Two more times. Let's connect our breath with our movement. Inhale, cow. Drop your belly. Open up your heart. Exhale, cat. Pull your navel in. Dome into your mid and upper spine. Tuck your chin in. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And come back to tabletop. And let's find child's pose. So bring your tippy toes to touch. Widen your knees. Lower your hips down. And surrender your torso more into the earth. And if the space allows it, nuzzle your forehead down as well. Take a few cycles of breath here. Connecting yourself with Mother Earth even more. And slowly come back up to tabletop. Knees underneath your hips. Let's prep for downward facing dog. So inch your hands a little bit more forward. Tuck your toes under. Take a breath in. Exhale. Lift up your hips by pulling your navel into your spine. And sink your heels down. Press down through your index fingers and the bases of your thumbs. Now here I want you to find a deep, deep bend in your knees because we want to focus on length in the spine and neck. And when we do that, we, we're not pulling with our hamstrings onto our spine and lower back. We're letting our back find a good, good straight line. Soften your shoulders away from your ears and rotate your biceps forward. So spread your fingers as wide as you can like sun rays. <laughs> Tofu wants to get on the couch. <laughs> One second, Tofu. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, walk forward toward the top of your mat into a wider stance. Deep bend in your knees as deeply as you can go. Also called ragdoll pose if you want to clasp your hands around your elbows. Let your head hang heavy here. Maybe you want to sway from side to side. The deeper you go in your bend in your knees, the more you allow yourself to decompress your spine and neck. Switch your clasp. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. And release down your hands. Now bring your feet up with distance. So really a strong foundation. With bent knees, slowly roll yourself up. Take your time. Then meet me in Tadasana. So reach your palms forward by your side. So let's gaze down at your feet. This is what anchors us down now. So we're putting all the focus on our feet first. So spread your tippy toes wide and then let every toe come down. Like you're rooting yourself down like a tree into the earth very deeply. Now press down through the inner and outer edges of your heels. Light bend in your knees to firm up your quads and glutes. Pull your belly button in as you widen your chest muscles even more. Rotate your, so you rotate your arms out like this. Gaze out in front of you. So inhale mountain, reach your arms up. Hold and breathe here. So we already got our feet, legs, navel. So now we want to focus on what's happening up in our shoulders. So let your shoulders melt down. Rotate your biceps in and your triceps forward. Take one more deep breath in, lengthen up. 
exhale, fold forward. So hinge from your hips, take your time. Keep your knees soft, lower down. And the deeper you go again with your knees, the more you allow yourself to come decompress in your spine and neck. Especially when we're very tired on our hamstrings, it's always recommended to deeply bend here. Inhale, halfway lift. Now keep your micro bend in your knees. Place your hands either onto your shins here or a little bit higher, a little bit higher, whatever you need to extend your spine more forward. Now loop your shoulders up toward your ears and away from your head, creating more length in your spine. Shift your weight a little more forward toward your toes. Take one more inhale. Exhale, fold. Hey, Tofu, come here, sweetie. And now let's come all the way up in him, mountain. Reach up. Exhale, Tadasana, hands by your side. Again, let's find a breath to movement connection. This is our sun or half sun A flow. So, in him, mountain, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from your hips. Take your time here, knees are soft. In a halfway lift, extend your heart out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, reach up. Exhale, Tadasana. Awesome, let's step out to the side of your mat. What do you need, sweetie? You need a little pillow? Yeah? Okay, come here. <laughs> so hip, uh, leg distance apart, your, your legs, your feet. So what you can use too is to bring your ankles right underneath your wrists. And if this, if this, too, if this is too far right now, <laughs> just stay where you feel most comfortable and most foundation. So bring your hands to your hips and then from deep within your right hip socket, rotate your right leg out so your right tippy toes are facing the shorter edge of your mat. Let your left foot follow, so bring your left tippy toes forward and anchor down your left heel, super strong. So we're super glued into the left foot. Bend into your right knee and you may just have to adjust, you may just go a little wider so your right knee is either on top of your ankle or slightly behind. So it's opening up our hip flexors right here. Pull your navel in. And when you're ready, only when you're ready, reach your right arm forward and your left arm back. And a lot of times we're feeling so much tension here, always soften down your shoulders. Create length in your neck. Inhale, reach forward as far as you can go. So imagine you're grabbing for something really, really important. Could be your favorite pet or your favorite human being. And when you're ready, exhale, extended side angle variation. So bring your right elbow softly onto your right thigh and reach your left arm up. So your legs are still completely the same. Only difference is where your torso went and your arms. So now spiral your heart up. So create length and avoid dipping down into this expression. You really wanna keep the space and the openness in your spine. And if it feels good on your neck, you may gaze up. It's not mandatory though. Inhale slowly, let's get out of here, <laughs> warrior two. Exhale, hands to your hips, straighten out your right leg and parallel your feet. Let's do this on the other side. From deep within your left hip socket, rotate to your left leg out until your left tippy toes are facing toward the shorter edge of your mat. And now your right tippy toes are following Anchor down your right heel, strong right leg. And when you're ready, you bend your left knee, 
Either your left knee is on top of your ankle or slightly behind. Pull your belly in. And when you're ready, reach your arms to the front and back. And keep breathing. Sometimes when it gets really challenging, we stop breathing. So here I am, always reminding you and myself to keep breathing. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, reach out with your left hand. Now there's something really important on the other side you want to get and so, so important and urgent you want to have it. And then when you're ready, exhale, extended side angle. Bring your left elbow onto your left thigh, reach your right arm up. Again, nothing changed in your legs. Core is strong, so the twist is coming from your core and reaching through the crown of your head helps you to find that length and avoiding the thing down keeps also the integrity in your spine. So shoulders away from your ears, please. Reach your right hand up with intention. Always helps to sunray your fingers so there's more engagement. Let's get out, right? Inhale, warrior two, come back up. Exhale, hands to your hips, straighten out your left leg, parallel your feet. Now you have the option to either walk your feet in, like this, like toe heel, or you can just jump. Let's flow down toward the mat and let's cool down. So come to the top of your mat, Comfortable distance between your feet. Inhale, mountain reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And now bend into your knees even more. Come into a squat and slowly and safely come down to your mat. Let's find seated forehead knee pose, Janna Shashasana. So extend your right leg out at a 45 degree angle. Bring your left foot in to your right inner thigh. So I do recommend to keep your right knee flexed, bent, and your right toes flexed. Root down through your hip bones. Inhale, reach up through your hands. Exhale, rotate to the right and reach out for Janisha Shasana. Surrender your head down and melt. Soften your left shoulder down as well. And slowly come back up. Access switch up your legs. So now send your left leg out, park your right foot in the inside of your left thigh. Keep your left leg bent, please. Toes are super flexed. Inhale, reach your arms up. Access seated forward, fold to the left. So shift forward out and to the left and reach out. Surrender, release. Let your right shoulder drop. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, send your legs out. Now move the fleshy part of your um, your butt hogs aside. So now you can bring your hip bones more down. It's always about foundation. Now I want you to find a deeper bend than usual because now we really just want to keep the length in the spine before we're reaching out too much forward. So take a breath in, reach up. Exhale, seated forward Paschimottanasana. So let your belly come closer to your thighs. Keep your toes flexed. And without pulling your shoulders forward, so send them down and away from your ears, slowly surrender. 
So you may land your hands by your shin, by your ankles or feet. And let your head gently drop. This pose is great for calming the nervous system down. Inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, scooch a little forward and surrender down onto your mat. Hug your knees in. Now drop your feet down. Your feet are hip width distance underneath your knees. Hands by your side. Inhale, bridge pose. Lift up your hip bones and your chest. Stay here and breathe. Anchor down through your heels to activate your glutes even more to find that lift. Open up your chest. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Hug your knees one more time toward your chest. Now let your feet drop and let's find supine figure four. Right ankle on top of your left knee, flex your right toes and you may stay here. Or if you want to intensify the stretch in your right hip, bring your hands behind your left thigh. Parallel your left shin with your mat and keep your left toes flexed as well. So when you do that, please keep your shoulders rooted down and tuck your chin slightly in. Stay for an in-breath and an out-breath. Slowly release your foot down, tee out your arms. And now twist over to your left. So let your right foot drop down. So this is a supine figure for twist. And if you'd like to, you can drop your head over to the right side. Let your spine get a gentle twist here. And slowly come back to center. Yes, there's the other side, so switch off, please. Bring your left foot on top of your right ankle. Now you may just stay here on top of your right ankle, your right knee. <laughs> and yeah, you may stay here. Or if you want to, you can interlace your hands behind your right thigh. Keep all of your toes flexed, engaged. Send your shoulders down. Tuck your chin slightly in. It's a nice stretch for your left outer thigh. And stay for one more full breath in. One more full breath out. Release your right foot and your grip down. Arms by your side. And let your left foot drape over to the right side of your space. Coming into a twist again. And if you want to, you can also drop your head over to the left side. Slowly come back to center with your legs. Hug your knees in, come into a tiny, tiny ball. Bring your foot toward your knees, take one more deep inhale. <sighs> Exhale, Shavasana. Send your legs out, your arms by your side. Flare your feet open, expose your palms. Get heavy, let your body sink more and more into the earth. Feel the support of the ground below you. Just stay here and rest a little longer and I will guide you out shortly.
You may stay a little longer here on your own. However, if the day is calling you, take a smooth breath in and a soft exhale. Slowly wiggle your fingers and your tippy toes. Roll out your ankles and wrists. Find a big body stretch, reach your arms over your head. Take a deep full inhale. When you exhale, hug your knees in and come into a fetal pose, right or left side. Using your bicep as a pillow for your head. And slowly press yourself up into an easy seat, Sukhasana, cross your legs, the first posture we did in the beginning. You may just still keep your eyes closed here. Bring your hands to your heart. Take one more deep conscious breath in. Big breath out. You are safe. You are secure, you are grounded, and you are home. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was such an honor and pleasure teaching to you. And I hope to see you soon again. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.